The Super Bowl is officially over, and the only thing I really cared about was the halftime performance. Maroon 5 just began immediately with no mention of Spongebob or Sweet Victory or anything like that. My face here pretty much described everything I felt during that moment, but then, out of nowhere, Squidward appeared on my TV screen in his Band Geeks gear, and here's what I felt during that moment. But the realization soon hit that these few seconds of Spongebob content were the only seconds in the entire halftime performance, as there was no full Sweet Victory song from Maroon 5, despite heavily being hinted at. Before we talk about it, take a look at the clip just in case you haven't seen it yet. And now, a true musical genius who needs no introduction. <laughs> oh. You took my one chance at happiness and crushed it. Crushed it into little tiny bite-sized pieces. I really had expected better of you people. I guess I'm a loser for that too. Alright, the NFL really out here dissing my man Squidward. Seriously, you guys gave him a few seconds of screen time to make his real world debut, and then he was never able to have his band perform Sweet Victory. Nah, but seriously, this felt really disappointing. While I do appreciate the original animation here of Squidward talking to the audience and introducing the next singer, as well as the cool modern version of Band Geeks, this felt super underwhelming, especially given all the hype building up to it. That quick little tease in the Maroon 5 promo of Spongebob hinted at something a bit more impactful, and it's clear from all the reporting and petitions that people would have loved to see the iconic song played at the halftime show. We only got the first few seconds, and even though that's not necessarily bad, it was a huge missed opportunity. Steven Hellenberg has positively changed so many people's lives, and it would have been really cool to see some sort of tribute to him during this halftime show. Instead, it's just Squidward talking about how the next singer needs no introduction, there's no mention of Spongebob's creator, it's it's just a quick little transition to the next song. Seeing the Bikini Bottom Gang's appearance was nice and all, but it seems clear why the NFL decided not to actually have the entirety of Sweet Victory performed. Why? Because there were other people joining Maroon 5 to sing, and Sweet Victory would take that precious time away. In the Super Bowl, every little second counts because it's one of the most watched TV events of all time, and the NFL wanted the more familiar and popular songs I guess, which is pretty bad if you're a Spongebob fan. Don't get me wrong, seeing this at all is still awesome, but I feel like Maroon 5 and the Mercedes-Benz Stadium Twitter account overhyped to this event because they knew everyone would be tuning in, even though it only lasted a few seconds and wasn't actually the full Sweet Victory performance. Not only that, but the NFL Films Twitter account posted a video of a bunch of different football players with Sweet Victory being played in the background. Name a better Super Bowl halftime song, we'll wait. Who will come out with a Sweet Victory this Sunday? It lasted like 10 seconds! Why would you do this to me, NFL? Ladies Ladies and gentlemen, I think we just got duped, duped, bamboozled, we've been speckledorfed. That's not even a word and I agree with you. Imagine an alternate reality where at least a third of the halftime show is dedicated to honoring the life of Steven Hellenberg and maybe even educating people about ALS. The sad truth is that something like this is unlikely to ever happen at the Super Bowl. It would feel out of place because people are here to enjoy a nice football game instead of learning about some terminal disease. Also, the NFL wanted to showcase their singers instead of showing Sweet Victory. I guess it's kinda nice to see the Mercedes-Benz Twitter account post their video of Sweet Victory being played, but it's pre-recorded and in an empty stadium. Would have been nicer if this happened when everyone was watching live during the halftime show, but oh well. In the end, do you guys think that this was a good tribute to Steven Hillenburg and arguably one of the most iconic episodes of his show? Or should there have been more? You know the drill, head to the comment section cause I'm curious as to what everyone thinks. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.